In our second section on the review, we are given quadratic expressions in factored form and we are asked to rewrite them in standard form. So this is kind of the exact opposite of what we did above. And I'm only going to work out a few of them. I think this is a little bit easier than what we did above. So um, let's look at number six. If I have x times 2x minus 5, um, I really don't need a four-sectioned rectangle. I could think of a rectangle who has a one-sided, the dimension is x, and the other is 2x minus 5. And so again, what I'm really just doing to find my areas is I'm multiplying. So 2x times x gives me 2x squared, and then negative 5 times x is just minus 5x. So to write this in standard form, I have 2x squared minus 5x. Oops. My five didn't show up. Um, now, if you wanted to throw a plus zero on there, we think of standard form often as having a constant. But when c is zero, we don't have to write it. But if you wrote two, oops, if you wrote two x squared minus five x plus zero, that would be the same thing. Okay, so in number eight, it's a little trickier just because we've got um, we have a two x and a four x here. So one, of, one side of my rectangle is 2x plus 3. The other dimension of my rectangle is 4x minus 1. But again, when we fill this out, we are just multiplying. So 2x times 4x, well, 2 times 4 is 8, and x times x is x squared. Um, when I multiply this 4x with the 3, I get 12x. When we multiply our 2x with a negative 1, we get negative 2x, and then 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. And typically, we can combine like terms, not, um, there, sure, there could be a case where we couldn't, but most often we can. So we could write our, um, we could write this at first as like 8x squared plus 12x minus 2x minus 3, but we wanna go ahead and combine those linear terms so we should end up with 8x squared, 12 minus 2 is 10, so plus 10x, it's still a positive 10, minus 3. All right, one more of these. Um, when we see x plus 3 times x plus 3, remember that is the same as x plus 3 squared. So that helps us know that this is a perfect square so you might be able to do this one faster. We were working with squares a lot in the first part of unit seven. So we're gonna get x squared, three x, three x, and nine. So again, when we combine our like terms, we have x squared plus six x from combining the two three x's plus nine, and that's our final answer.